Russ, is there any other uh, hot issues that you'd like to address uh, and kind of get the word out there? Um, uh, issues or opportunities? Opportuni um, opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Oppor this is positively West Virginia, by God. <laughs> Everybody, uh, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm called Pollyanna because, you know, I always <laughs> look at how to get, move forward, not look at the past. And, and uh, but I think that's important that we respect the past, but th that we continue to focus on tomorrow. Because honestly, when you talk about jobs and it, it's, uh, you know, I tell people whenever you have a company that closes down, whether it's five people or 1500, uh, you're really working on replacing job loss three years from now, not this year, because it, it is a, it takes time, it takes effort, and it takes a continuum of uh, investment. And, and, uh, and also, uh, one of my other favorite things is to say, the minute the community stops looking forward, it's actually going backwards. And, 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 and that usually leads to uh, unfortunate uh, uh, results. So um, that's what I love about this county. Uh, we do look forward. Uh, I love about the resiliency. Um, the fact that we have the, the Morgantown Industrial Park expanding another 300 plus acres where we actually will have uh, this announcement on a 50 acre pad. We still have another 35 to 40 acre pad, then a couple 15 to 20. Uh, in West Virginia, let's be honest, flat land is invaluable and rare. So uh, being able to have sites, you can have the best community in the world, but if you don't have a, a physical place for them to, to put their facilities, you're not going to be successful. So that's extremely critical. And on the same hand, we're working on the I-68 Commerce Park, and that is a very unique collaboration. Um, that's been the county, uh, WVU and the city, uh, and the airport working all together uh, to do the runway extension, which is critical in and by itself of a thousand additional feet going from five to 6,000, uh, which allows us to land larger planes, which is you know, beneficial to all. Uh, and then that process will create a 90 acre business park. And, and, uh, and that'll, that's a great partnership. Um, and Sean's been involved in that a lot longer than I have. But yeah, we've had a lot of activity here in the last uh, what year on that. So we're excited about being able a mile, maybe a mile and a half off of I-68 to have a 90-acre business park with the land surrounding it that we could always expand uh, into as well because those are job addition locations. Yep. Um, Sean, if you, if you wouldn't mind uh, just tapping into that runway ex extension development team uh, concept and what you're working on there. Yeah, this has been a project uh, in, in my five years. It's probably moved more in the last year than it has in the previous four. Uh, and that is just due to the collaboration with the city, uh, the collaboration with the development authority, and really just starting to move forward and everybody, you know, talking and walking and uh, working in the same direction. So I'm really excited to, to see that that uh, project move forward. And again, as I mentioned earlier, you know, what, what we do over there uh, will complement the rest of the county. So it won't be competing against what's going on in the industrial park. It won't be competing against what's going on in Westridge. Uh, it, so it'll, it'll all be working in unison. So it's just, again, finding another niche and then having that niche, you know, fulfilled in a, over there. For more positive stories of people and businesses doing amazing things all across the Mountain State, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And also, we live stream every week on Facebook Live. Stay positive, West Virginia.